Hey guys, uh, I got my Quincy compressor today. I did buy it and I uh, just got done converting it over to single phase. Well, partially. I'm not complete yet. I need to do a couple things, but uh, anyways, here it is. Um, the one thing I haven't done yet is I need to get a uh, another contactor. This one here is a spare for a different application, but um, I think on Surplus Center, um, surplusCenter.com, um, they have a five horse contactor in an enclosure made by Siemens or Simmons, Simons, whatever the hell it is. Um, anyways, I need to tie that into the motor and um, I'm going to hopefully mount it here in front of the motor to still leave enough air movement for the motor. And then I'm going to replace the pressure switch. Uh, I believe this one's probably set up for like 150 pounds, 175, and uh, I don't need all the high pressure. I'm after the volume. So I'm going to replace the pressure switch as well. Probably it's just a, a good thing in general. Um, I did run it up a little bit, and uh, it did work pretty good, uh, real well actually. So I got down to zero pounds again. And um, I also have, uh, let's try this again here. Okay. Got the amp meter on there as well. And uh, the only thing I did notice in the initial testing of uh, building pressure is up on the unloader tower here where it bleeds off the excess air, this was just leaking ever so slightly. It, used to hit, it hissed quite a bit at first, and then now it just, uh, you can put your finger where you can feel it build pressure. So, and I gotta replace the uh, air filter, it looks like it's uh, past time. And um, other than that, it works real good. Um, the one thing I did change as far as the motor pulleys, this here was the original motor. It's a five horse three phase, uh, 1730 RPM, but it's got a 1.15 service factor. This motor here has only got a 1.0 service factor. So I did to compensate that as I actually used a smaller pulley. Uh, this pulley is actually only five and three quarter versus the one that was on the other motor was seven and three quarter. And surprisingly enough, it still runs very, very nice and quiet. So actually probably quieter than maybe it originally did, but it still builds up pressure pretty quick. So anyways, I'm going to start it up here and uh, you can hear what she sounds like. I'm going to let it run for a little bit and build up some pressure. All right, here we go. right now. by no means is loud. I mean, it's, it's nice. The compressor dates back, or the tank dates back to 1975, and looking at the actual compressor, uh, it's got an ROC of 10. So, I looked at... Um, Quincy's website in their library and I found documentation and parts list for the compressor itself uh, for the ROC 10 or record of change 10 back in 1968 so from 1968 to at least 1975 it seems to me that this is a record of 10 uh, record of change number 10 so approaching 50 Here. Oh yeah. Oh, build some more pressure.
Joy. kind of reminds me of uh, an older Kellogg or a Sailor Beal. But as you can see, it's uh, a little bit larger. And that's a big pump. The pump itself weighs 295 pounds. I'm going to stop it at 100 here. Beautiful. So uh, I've got it temporarily running. I will uh, get the parts I need. Oh, and the one thing I'm going to also do too is uh, I'm going to put an electric tank drain on the bottom. Um, I've never seen this before, but for whatever reason, there's a petcock over here which is not on the bottom of the tank. So I'm just going to ignore that, probably take it out and plug it. Well, maybe not. It says here drain tank every week with that thing I don't quite understand that it's not in the bottom of the tank but unless there's something inside I always thought they were on the bottom there is something on the bottom but it's nothing there let's see if it's leaking yeah a little bit Well, if that's the only thing wrong with it, then uh, I still got one hell of a steal. And this thing was cheap. So, like I said, I just need to uh, replace the pressure switch, mount a new magnetic starter, wire those that all together, put the belt guard back on. Oh, and let me tell you something about these belt guards. Holy cats. Here's the belt guard. And as you can see, it's just laced full of oil. Uh, but anyways, uh, this piece, um, there's two halves to this, and, uh, you know, they had a, it was very well enclosed, but the problem is, is in order to take the guard off or to get the belts, you had to take out little screws that mounted into here. Well, you could get at half of them with a nut wrench, other ones you'd have to use a, a quarter inch uh, wrench to get at. So I'm going to put the guard back on, but I'm only going to put this half on. I'm not going to put the inside on, so it'll still be kind of open in here a little bit. But at the same time, if you're dumb enough to stick your fingers in there while it's running, well, then you got what you got coming to you. But that's just my opinion, I guess. So My opinion doesn't always count. So anyways, that's the update for now. Uh, once I get it all uh, wired together the way it's supposed to with the, content, or the magnetic starter and the new pressure switch, I'll get the belt guard back on. I'll probably uh, rub it down some more with some uh, naphtha to get all that extra oil off there. The oil is kind of a concern. Um, I've never seen one so covered in oil, but at the same time, this thing is like 35, 36 years old, so um, it, it could be that it's maybe never been wiped on its entire life, and it might have run fairly hard. I'm not sure, but I'm going to wipe it down, keep an eye on it, and if it starts filling with oil again, then I'm assuming that uh, one of the gaskets is bad, so then I might be looking at doing a rebuild. But even then, still can't complain. So, And once I, uh, like I said, get everything wired up, I'm going to move it to its new location, or to its location on the other, in, other side of the uh, shop. And um, 
that project also is going to require pulling new wire because uh, when I wired the original compressor I only pulled number 12 and I need to pull number 10 for this so that'll be a project all by itself and then uh, a few good men and a case of beer we should get this thing rolled into um, its place still on its original shipping pallet too all right I'll keep you posted thanks for watching